What is D space D6 Armada? Come on back after the break. Hey everybody, welcome out to the show, Board Game Reviews. This is a YouTube channel dedicated to the tabletop gaming hobby, and this is a video part of a video series looking at the game of Deep Space D6 Armada. Deep Space D6 Armada is a cooperative game for one to four players, where players are a fleet of ships trying to take out an evil federation. Players are going to cooperatively explore across our galaxy, visiting Terra, Luna, Titan, Kagawa, Zenith One, and Invictus in an effort to go ahead and satisfy these distress beacons because these distress beacons are the call of our victory and they're also our call of defeat. Because if at any time there happens to be five distress beacons on any single planet, our players are going to lose the game. Additionally, if any of our players have managed to be entering the critical status. If all of our players are in the critical status, actually I should say are in the critical status, then our players are also going to lose the game. But the basic idea of the game is our players can be exploring across this galaxy, encountering enemy fleets, and we're going to be encountering these enemy fleets because we must defeat them because these enemy fleets are protecting these distress beacons. Our eventual goal is to go out there and seek out these distress beacons, solve the riddle of these distress beacons by doing dice tasks. Every one of these distress beacons has certain dice tasks we must resolve. If we manage to roll well enough on our dice, we may be able to resolve these dice these distress beacons, and if we complete these distress beacons, we're going to slowly work our way onto unlocking these data chips. If we manage to get two of these data chips, we're going to get our final ending and find out exactly what kind of ending we're going to deal with. We're happens to be dealing with a giant locust mothership, a space station, an oblivion tower, a, well, let's not get too many into the spoilers because there's lots of endings for this game, but the basic idea of the game is we're trying to get to that grand ending. If we manage to defeat that grand ending before there has to be five distress beacons on any planet, before all of our hero ships are destroyed, we're going to win the game, but if those distress beacons pile up on us, or if all of our ships again enter that critical status, we are going to lose the game. So again, like I said, this is a cooperative game where we must cooperatively work around, doing our best to destroy these fleets because these fleets are going to be lots of ships, ships that are trying to go out there and defeat us such as crushers. And the way combat is going to work in this game is one of the interesting things about this game. Because as we fly around and as we encounter these ships, we're going to be rolling our dice. Rolling these dice will allow us to use our ships, our upgraded ships, upgrades we can purchase. We can even get extra heroes and add these heroes to our ships. But we're going to use these dice to go ahead and take out these enemy vessels who will get a chance to strike back at us. Our shields may be damaged, our hull may be damaged, but as long as we keep our hull intact and as long as we can keep destroying these enemy fleets and keep resolving these distress beacons, we're going to slowly work towards our task of defeating the evil enemy federation. We'll continue to work on gaining credits, which will allow us to upgrade our ship. Credits will allow us to get more heroes. Heroes represented by better dice that allow us to roll better results and get better results and more powerful engines, more powerful ships, more better everything in our grand goal of taking out that evil federation. If our players are going to work cooperatively and defeat that federation, we're going to be the grand winner of the game. Now, this is just a quick overview of exactly what Deep Space D6 Armada happens to be. If you want to see a quick sample gameplay, learn how to play the game, or actually find out my final opinion of the game, check out the other videos in this series. This has just been a quick overview of the game itself. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this video series. If you have any comments or questions, make sure you leave them down in the YouTube comments down below. I will definitely get to them as quickly as I can. You can also feel free to email me at off the shelf board game reviews. That is OTSBGR at gmail.com. I will do my best to answer emails as quickly as I can. If you enjoy the channel, if you enjoy the content I put out there, think about supporting the channel over on Patreon. This channel operates 100% without sponsors or without the luxury of getting free games. All these games are purchased by myself or by my friends to help bring out content for all of you. You can help keep the channel growing strong just by tossing one dollar in the tip jar. One dollar can help me cover my costs and help bring out great content for all of you. If you enjoyed this video, if you enjoyed this video series, click that like button, click that subscribe button, and as always, Thanks for watching.